Robert Plank Show episode 134. Get out of the dumpster and banish your limitations with Dr. Reggie Payton. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Robert Plank Show. This is the, t the show where we talk about a variety of topics and have a lot of cool guests. And today's very interesting guest is Dr. Reggie Padin. Now, Dr. Reggie Padin is the author of an Amazon best-selling book called Get Out of the Dumpster, a true story on overcoming limitations. It includes the story of how Reggie went from being a high school dropout, hauling garbage out of a dumpster by hand, to become a PhD, dean of a corporate university at a billion dollar company a professor, an author, an executive coach, and a spiritual leader. Lots of cool stuff. Welcome to the show, Dr. Reggie. Hey, thank you for having me, Robert. It's a pleasure. Cool. So, I mean, I, I'm glad that, that uh, we have this cool story in front of us that I can't wait to unpack. And, I mean, the thing about about this show and the people that I have on is, I don't know, like, lately I feel like I've had a lot of um, – of guests on and stuff and they were and I was just like well what's the most interesting part for me with anyone's story are uh -huh. the places they failed the places they've struggled and it just seems like lately with my guests I've I've mm -hmm. said where have you where was your low point where have you struggled and what I've been hearing a lot of like I've never struggled it's always come easy for me and what? I'm thinking like what are, what are you talking about like wow like I, I love the uh, the kind of the stories where people get stuck so can you tell us a little bit about uh about your story personally? Well, man, I'm going to go in a, in a completely opposite direction because, okay. I mean, I've struggled a lot. I mean, my life, the, the, the title of the book, Get Out of the Dumpster, is an, is an actual real-life story. I was in a dumpster because of the choices I made as a young man. And, and primarily, the, 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 the biggest um, mistake I made as a young person was dropping out of high school. Uh, dropped out of high school, married very young, started having kids right away, uh, and so that, which is a, you know, it's it's a recipe for financial disaster when you don't have an education. Um, it so happens that uh, during that time we were experiencing one of the worst recessions um, ever, and um, it was it was tough, man. So I had to I had to dig in, dig deep, and dig myself out of that situation, out of that dumpster which was a, a big struggle. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that people, you know, have not faced uh, struggles in their lives. I mean, I have. The good thing is, and what I learned personally, is that it doesn't matter the dumpster you're in. And I was literally in a dumpster. What I found out is that um, we all face dumpster moments. Um, it doesn't matter the dumpster you're in, you can dig yourself out. So uh, it doesn't matter the struggle, you can do it. You can get out. Well, cool. That, that's a pretty cool message. So, I mean, so tell us about, a little bit about what happened. You said that you, you dropped out of high school. You had the kid. I mean, what yeah. was the situation there? Well, you know, I, I it, it was a it was a it was a tough situation. I again, I made the mistake of dropping out, and the only jobs that I could find without a, a high school diploma, uh, without an education, was was really as a gopher, as a janitor. You know, doing odd things here and there. And I ended up working for a company um, that I didn't know at the time was experiencing financial difficulties. In, in fact, they were going bankrupt. And when a company is going bankrupt, they have to make cuts. Well, one of the things they cut was the waste management company. And so I got a call in from my boss one day, and he called me to his office. And he said, hey, I need, a, I need you to do something. In fact, he didn't say I need a favor. I said, I need you to do this. Go get one of the company trucks and back it up to... Um, every single dumpster around the around the company, and I need you to go in there and haul all that garbage by hand, place it in the back of that trunk and, and truck, and drive it to the landfill. And that became my job. Uh, can you imagine? I mean, I don't know if you've ever walked by by a dumpster in the middle of the summer, uh, but it's not a pleasant situation. I mean, it sounds and, gross. Uh, yeah. It, it was pretty bad, you know. Yeah, I was chest deep in, inside a inside a dumpster, and I had to drive it to the landfill, which was uh, not a very pleasant thing either. And get in, you know, get in the back of that uh, box truck and dump it in there, and dump dump, you know, leave it in the landfill, and 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 day in and day out, man, for um for for an entire summer, I had to I had to do that. So I had a, a wake up call, right? I mean, I I, I, I it was an ah. Uh, aha moment for me it was a, a moment of questioning okay is this what i want to do for the rest of my life i couldn't bear i couldn't bear the the thought of providing that type of life for for my children when i i knew i could give them more and so there there's where i began the journey out of that original dumpster i, I created a plan for myself a long-term plan and um found, found found a purpose in life found what i what i wanted to do 
and executed that plan. Man, I've been working on that plan for, for over 20 years. And it's brought me to this point, you know, where I, I no longer, you know, have to do that kind of work. I, I work in a, in a very good um, environment and, and, and I have a very good situation going on. And, and probably more importantly than, than all of that is that, that now I have the opportunity to help other people come out of their, out of their dumpster moments. And in my book, I identify dumpster moments, anything that limits you from getting to the next level. Um, so, you know. We, we all have those things. We all have those limitations that there are self-imposed sometimes. Most of the times are self-imposed and that we need to overcome. So today I get to help a lot of people uh, identify what those limitations are and devise a plan of action that will get them out of that situation. Well, cool. So when you were in, in that kind of situation, I mean, what was the plan? How did you get yourself out of that? You know, I, you, do, you do a lot of soul searching, right? I mean, when you, whenever you hit bottom... Um, you do a lot of soul searching. And so I started looking for what was the teaching, the, the, the teaching moment here for me. And, um, and I, you know, one of the things that I began asking myself um, in that situation was, okay, what is my purpose? And so for me, for me, my, I found out pretty, pretty quickly that I was going to use that story and my experiences to help other people. And so my purpose became helping other people come out of their dumpsters. And for me, it meant, you know, I wanted to be a professor. I wanted to be an instructor. I wanted to be a, a coach. And that meant I had to go back and begin the journey of going to school. You know, so I had to go back and get my GED and then, you know, go to college. I was the first person in my family to graduate from college. It involved getting two master's degree, degree, degrees. It involved, you know, getting a doctorate degree. So it was, it was a, a, a very methodical plan. Um, to get from point A to Z, but that means, and, and this is where a lot of people make the mistake, a lot of people, in today, especially in today's, in today's age of instant gratification and what you see on, on the internet and, and, and television, seems like those are overnight success stories. It, when you look deep down, they're not overnight you know, uh, success stories. They've worked hard hard at it for many, many years. And so I devised a plan for myself that involved, you know, almost, almost uh, 18 years of, of um, formal education but but probably more importantly is that with every step that I took uh, my life got better you know my income got better my uh, the opportunities got better uh, the right, I started meeting the right people in the right situation and going in the right direction and and my income grew and you know so today you know I tell people I said look you look at my life and I yes I, I drive the car of my dreams I live in in, in South Florida with a multi-million dollar view, I, I have a pretty comfortable life. But um, you, you too can can enjoy that kind of life if you if you want it, if that's what you what you want. What you have to do is make sure that you find your purpose, create a plan of action, execute that plan over and over and over again. And there's other things, of course, that I mentioned in the book um, that that help people um, achieve what it is that they want to achieve in their lives. So I, I mean, I know that. We might be kind of simplifying it here, but like, what's the difference between between now and then? When you say the difference is like before, you didn't have a real plan and a goal. Maybe yeah. you were like drifting through and being boxed in the situations. Or like, what what would you say is like the biggest difference between you know, now for, and the failure? Yeah, for me, for me, it's mindset, and that's what I tell people. That's the first thing that, in fact, is is, is chapter two of the book. Is is you have to develop a different mindset. And when I look at my life now. And I look at that young guy in that dumpster. And by the way, I'm, I'm not old by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but um, when I when I look at that guy back then, it, he he had a different mindset. He had a, a limiting mindset. He had a, def a self defeating mindset. He had a doubtful mindset. Uh, he had a victim mentality. Uh, he made excuses. He you know he he t just looked at the problem and not for the solutions. And, and today, the biggest difference is that I, it's not that I don't experience those things. You know, I still experience doubt and fear and insecurities and, and real life problems, you know, and, 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 and stuff that I have to overcome. But my mindset is different. And when you, when, once you have that different, that winning mindset, that mindset that limitations to can, what, I, what I can do, um, until you develop that, you're not, you're not the win so that is the the, the, the today of course 
know, with that mindset comes it comes a different work ethic. It comes a, a, a mindset of execution, of excellence, of keeping momentum, of um, surrounding yourself with the right people, with the right situations, with the right crowd, with the right resources. Um, but it all starts, man, and ends right there in your mind. If you can overcome that, that's what I tell people. If you can overcome whatever limitations you have in your head, which are, which are, you know, and I tell people, this is, it's an illusion. Um, you know, you, your mind can't tell the difference between, you know, sometimes between reality and, and what's not real. That's where you take action and, and say, well, when, no, this is not going to be a limitation for me. So, I mean, how, how does someone kind of start that process? How does someone get the ball rolling towards co- fixing all those little things, the limiting belief, the self-defeating sure. stuff, the victimhood? Like, all, what's the low-hanging fruit there? I think I think the biggest the biggest thing that people can start working on is finding out what their purpose is, because purpose is going to f- give you the fuel that you need in order to make every other ch- kind of change in your life. Until you find your purpose in life, you're not going to have enough passion to overcome any of those things to change any of those. So you're not going to be motivated to anything. And so for me, of course, the the purpose became my motivation became okay. My purpose is to be out of here and to help other people, of course, help my family, help my children, uh, help myself get, get out of this situation. And so that gave me the fuel, the, 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 it was the catalyst to, to move me in the right direction. And the, and the other thing that you find is when, once you have your purpose, um, I tell people, look, there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. Um, and, and so you have experiences out there. You have examples out there of people who have been able to accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish. So in my case, you know, as, as an educator, as a, as a coach, as a, you know, whatever you want to call me, motivational speaker, whatever you want to call me, th- there are already examples of that, of very successful people who have done that in the past. And so my job at that point becomes, okay, what is it that I can learn from these people that have already walked the path? So I don't make, I, I'll try not to make the same mistakes so I can learn the skills that they've learned so I can go to the resources that they've gone to. Um, back when I started, the internet was non-existent. Um, in fact, it was pretty, pretty, pretty it's not, it, wasn't, it wasn't even in, the, in its infancy. Today, we have so many resources at our disposal that all you have to do is Google um, something and you'll find enough information there, enough, um, enough tools, resources there to get you started going in the right direction. So I get, you talk about a low hanging fruit, you find out what it is that you want to do in life and then find great examples and mimic and, and, and follow those examples until you create your own, uh, your own style, your own way of doing things. Um, that, that to me has been, uh, you know, revolutionary that I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. The, the wheel ha- it was already out there. And all I have to do is just, you know, take, take those examples and, and apply them, apply them in my life. And that makes a lot of sense because, yeah, cause I mean, I guess on one side of it, it's like, why put yourself through all of the same problems that everyone who came before exactly. you had, but then also you have to live your own life. Right. So there's like yes. that, that matter where you find the, the case studies, you find the role models if, and of kind course. of build on that. That's pretty cool. I tell people, and I tell people, look, there are virtual mentors, partners, and coaches out there. Um, you know, when I first started, I had no contacts, you know, I had no, no partners, no, no you know, no mentors, no, nobody to really point me in the right direction. I had to do the, 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 you know, I had to do the research. I had to find, you know, but when I, once I found the, the examples that I wanted to follow, man, I read everything they put out. I listened to their conference, you know, I visit, I went to their conferences. I would go to the workshops. I would listen to their, their tapes. You know, this is back in the days where, where there were actually cassette tapes and VH, VH, VHS tapes, you know, and you would watch them. Um, today it's, it's, it's even better, man. They can listen to podcasts and, and today you can, you know, and I tell this to, to people that make it, make the excuse. Well, I don't have an education. Well, I don't have money for an education. Well, you know what? You can actually go to school. You can go to Stanford right now for free. You won't get the diploma necessarily, but you'll get the knowledge. You'll get the, you know, you'll get that. You can just go and take classes at Stanford or MIT or Harvard or any of these schools for free. Um, 
there's no excuse, man. There's there's no excuse anymore for people to really better themselves and to find the tools and the knowledge and skills necessary to succeed. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that about a million percent. Like all, all those things that were previously unavailable are, are like, you know, in iTunes University or there's yes. like, you know, all that open source kind of uh, like MIT stuff and all that, all that free education. So kind of along those lines, as far as, you know, um, giving people like these helpful tools and getting the message out and stuff. I know that you know you have your experiences and you have your book and I, and you mentioned a little bit that uh, you have a little bit of like speaking. So can you tell me about like the rest of your business and how your your message and your story and your training and your book all kind of relates to that? You know, right now what I've given myself to um, is really uh, is really to to teach people to coach people and so. Um, I, I, I am the dean of a corporate university for a multi, multi-billion dollar company. So if you, if you would want to call it my day job, um, that's, what, that's what I do. Um, also, I work as an adjunct professor at several universities where I'm teaching, um, you know, primarily a freshman coming in um, business skills and, and communication skills. But, uh, but what, I, what I'm really, really passionate about um, is to be able to take that to the masses. And so um, I, I, that's why the reason why, why I wrote the book uh, and, and, and put it out there for, for people. That's why I do these kinds of um, interviews for people to, you know, whether it's my book or somebody else's book, if, if there's something that I, that I say that can help one person um, overcome their limitations, I've done my job. Uh, you know, a, a few years ago, I started um, the process of starting a, an, an online school that will teach business and technology um, um, courses. And so I'm going through the uh, licensing and certification right now for, for, for that school. It's going to be completely online um, and, and, and it comp- I mean, very, very affordable compared to, you know, other, other types of programs out there. So that's what I do, man. I mean, tw- almost 24-7, uh, I'm, I'm constantly looking for ways to, to help people, um, you know, come out of their limiting situations. I, I have a personal goal. My goal is before I check out of planet Earth, I would want to help, you know, at least a million, a million people overcome at least one limitation in their lives. Uh, and so that is, my, that is my goal. That is my purpose. That's my, my, life, my life's mission. That's what I've given myself to. Well, cool. And I think that's a pretty good goal and a, a pretty good message there. So as we're kind of winding this down today, is there like, I don't know, I don't even know how to ask this, but like, uh, like a quick exercise or a quick activity, like something somebody could do today, yeah. even in 10 or 20 minutes to just like yeah. get over the hump or get one little, one little thing fixed as far as overcoming their limitations? You know that there is no, I, I would be lying, okay, and, and telling people uh, there's a quick fix here because there really isn't. It's like, um, you know, you've, you've been watching the Olympics and probably your audience has been watching the Olympics. These are, these are people who are winning medals. And they prepare, you know, over four years, maybe sometimes for a 10 second race, you know, so it, it's, it's a lot of hard work. But the, the reason why they prepare for four years for a 10 second race is because they're, they're, they have found their purpose, they have found their passion. And so what I can tell people is I can help you, I can give you some exercises that you can do to find your purpose. Because once you find your purpose, you'll find the resources, you'll find the, you'll find the, the fuel that you need in order to get it done. Um, and so I tell people, look, get a piece of paper, a notebook, a pen, go to a quiet place because we live in such a noisy world. We live in a world where other people tell us what we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to do. You know, our parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and ministers and teachers and so many other people have told us what we need to do. But but, but what is it that we want to do? What is it that we feel called to do? And, and that's the other thing. Look, I'm a very spiritual person. And I believe that every person on this earth has a, a purpose, has a plan. And so find out what that plan is. And for that, for, in order for you to do that, you have to quiet yourself. And just write all, anything that comes to mind, those things that bring you joy, those things that bring you happiness, those things that bring you fulfillment, those things that, you know, uh, bring you satisfaction, those things that motivate you. And just write, 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 write down all those things. And what you're going to see, if you spend enough time, and that's more than 20 minutes, you'll probably have to spend, you know, three months doing this. You know, maybe taking one day a week, one night a week and, and doing this by yourself and nobody else around you. But what you're going to find out is that after writing and writing, you're going to see some patterns. And after you create those patterns, you're going to say, okay, this is, 
yeah, th- this this adds with this. In my case, what the, the the theme that kept coming back was teaching people, helping people, teaching people, helping people. Uh, and and you know my my journey has taken me in different directions. Okay, I started as a as a as a as a youth worker, and then I start you know I worked in the inner city, and I, then I was a, a minister, um, and then I, I became a, a professor, and then a, 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 a dean of a corporate university. But what do all those things have in common? They all are about helping people overcome things in their lives. And so I have felt satisfaction in doing all those things, even though one door closed, another opened, but they were all aligned with the same purpose because I started moving in that direction. So that is probably the one tidbit that I can give people. Find out what it, what your purpose is. The rest will take care of itself. Interesting. I, I like that. And I like especially that, I mean, I, I'm totally okay with it. It might take a few weeks or a few months, yeah. but, but I like the idea of don't just, I mean, it's one thing to write stuff down and list stuff. I like that you said, kind of see what, as you're making this list, kind of see what the connections are and see what the patterns Absolutely. are. Absolutely. And, and they're going to, and, and they will come. If you're patient enough, listen, what do you have to lose? Right. I Nothing. mean, if you if you're in a dumpster anyway, whether it's a, a real dumpster or an emotional dumpster or a career dumpster or, you know, a relationship dumpster, whatever the dumpster is, what do you have to lose? You're already you've hit bottom. And so find out, take some time with yourself, with your thoughts. You'll be guided. I Trust me, you will be guided. You will find the connections, you know, Steve Jobs talks about this, you know, um, when, when he gave that, 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 um, that, that speech at Stanford before passing, you know, a few years ago, he says, what you're going to see is, you know, you have to find what you love to do and go through life. Just, just keep going in that direction of what you like to, you like to do. And then you will be able to connect the dots. But he says, you never are able to connect the dots looking forward. It's always looking backwards. See, my life take, took me here, there, everywhere. I've lived in so many, you know, states, and and I've done v- various things. But now connecting the, the 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 dots, looking backwards, I've seen that, yeah, it, it it's all part of the same purpose. It's all part of the same plan. Interesting. That's a pretty good insight there. So so cool. So I mean, along those lines, uh, along the lines of uh, people, you know, getting out of the dumpster and staying out of the dumpster. Can you tell yeah. everyone where to find out more about you and get your book and all that good stuff? You know, they can visit my website, Reggie Padin, that's R-E-G-G-I-E, Padin, P-A-D-I-N, dot com. And you can, they can see more about, um, you know, what we do. Or they can go to Amazon. That's probably the easiest thing, um, Amazon.com. And um, type in, uh, get out of the dumpster, and they're, they're going to have the information there. They, in, 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 basically, they'll see my, my page, and the book is available right now on Kindle and on paperback. I, I encourage everybody, every listener to 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 get it uh, because I know that there's something in there for everybody. Uh, and listening to you, I mean, I, I agree too. So thanks for uh, for coming on the show, Dr. Reggie, and everyone should go there and uh, get a copy of the book or even get 100 copies. So, so lots of good <laughs> stuff, lots of cool breakthroughs, and uh, thanks for the awesome show, Doctor. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. 